In this video we'll be looking at uh, some still behaviors, uh, especially in regards to s stress versus strain, uh, and also residual stress. Uh, beginning with some background on steel itself. Steel uh, is an alloy mainly made up of iron and some carbon. There's also a variety of other alloys in there as well. Uh, the beauty of steel itself is that it has fantastic tensile and compressive strength and both tension and compression behaves roughly the same. So this is in contrast to something like concrete which has fantastic compressive strength but terrible tensile strength okay and talking about stress we're going to look at the behavior of steel uh, under tension and compression so this is a typical stress strain diagram showing the behavior of steel and uh, you can see that there are two general regions in which steel behaves an elastic region meaning that any deformation is returned to normal once the load is released and plastic region means that once the load is released the steel member will be permanently deformed okay so in the starting region when we're increasing our loads there's a proportional limit um, known as a Hooke's law where an increase in stress is uh, in, met with a increase in strain of proportional amounts and this goes on until it reaches the yield stress where the steel begins to permanently deform. When that happens there is a drop in capacity. Uh, however, as we move on the steel gains uh, strain hardening as the crystals break down. So you actually gain